Hello everybody, hope you're doing okay and welcome back to Potter Pops. What you can see me doing here is writing out a list of every single Harry Potter Funko Pop figure I own. Which turns out to be quite a lot actually, 40 figures to be exact. So, the idea is pretty simple. I'm going to cut up the lists I wrote of all the figures I own, put them in my Harry Potter tin and pick out the names of five random figures at a time that I will then review individually for you. Then, when the review is finished, I will put them on the done list. Okay, so I've got the names in here now. I'm going to give it a little shake. Pick out the first five characters we're going to review. I'm not looking. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Let's see who we've got. First one we have is... Bellatrix. Number two, we have Dumbledore 1, that's the first Dumbledore. Then we have Draco Malfoy, followed by Cedric Diggory. And last but not least is Voldemort. So those are our first five figures to review. Bellatrix, Voldemort, Draco, Cedric and the first Dumbledore. So let's get on with the reviews. So first up I'm going to review Bellatrix the Strange. Now we'll start off by having a closer look at her box. That's what she said. <laughs> now I realise if there's any um, hardcore Funko Pop collectors out there you're going to hate me um, because this box is absolutely battered. Um, Bellatrix is probably one of the first figures I actually got. Uh, I remember the very first one was Harry, obviously. Uh, I then got the first Dumbledore, then Ron. And then I think Bellatrix was the fourth figure I ever got. Um, so I've had her for a few years now. And the box is pretty battered. Um, fortunately, the top of the lid has actually completely come off. But yeah, as you can see, the box is a little bit worse for wear at the moment. But luckily, it's not the box we are focusing on. Okay, so, as you can see, it comes in the plastic coating, um, which is to protect the figure and keep it standing up in the box. Um, some certain figures, including Bellatrix, come with the plastic stand. Good. Yeah, some figures who are particularly top-heavy come with these plastic stands, and the figure has a little hole on the bottom of the foot, uh, and you just slot them on there to keep them standing. As you can see, Bellatrix has a particularly thin body and massive head. Um, the massive hair doesn't help either, so her balance is pretty off, which is why we've got this stand. Before I get to unboxing the figure itself, I am just going to say that I don't have a, a professional setup for these videos, hence why I'm just filming on the window ledge here. Um, I've not even decorated my room, all the stuff on the window ledge is piled up, it's a bit of a mess, um, but if you could please ignore that, that'd be great. Anyway, on with the actual figure now, let's get her out of her plastic prison. Um, so this is what she looks like close up. Do a little 360 there. Bellatrix doing ballet, Who, who'd have thought it? Uh, so yeah, I really do like this figure. Um, I specifically like the detail on the hair. Obviously the hair is a massive part of this character. She's meant to look crazy and dishevelled. Um, and I think she does that very well with her massive, like, almost Amy Winehouse beehive. And I like the little, little swirl going down her face there as well. I also didn't notice this till I was just doing this video. Um, but her eyes are quite red and puffy, um, whether she's been crying or just not sleeping. I really like that detail in there as well. I've put her on the stand again now because I want to look at the body piece, which again is really detailed. Her Death Eater sort of cloak gets up. It's really detailed with like the buttons and like the leather corset kind of thing there. Um, everything has like little details on it, so... It's not just like a black plastic figure. You can see like the ruffles in her clothes and things like that. Not too sure how well the camera's picking up on this. And then we go to the dress, which has really subtle, um, a really subtle pattern on it, like swirls. Really nice detailing there. Also got a wand as well. I'm not going to lie, a lot of the figures that I will be showing you in these reviews, well, I've broken their wands at one point or another, um, because there's obviously been a lot of Potter Pops episodes, um, a lot of a lot of usage, should we say. Um, but Bellatrix luckily still has her wand intact there. She also has a few rings that you can see. Again, just these small details make a world of difference to the figure. And then last but not least, we've got her boots. They also include like the laces um, and things like that. 
So yeah, there is the Bellatrix Strange figure. Spoiler alert, um, as you might be able to tell, I'm not a figure reviewer, I don't do this. Uh, I'm usually a vlogger or a sketch comedy person on YouTube. I don't really review things, so let me know how I'm doing so far. So that's the first figure, Bellatrix. We're going to move on to Dumbledore 1 now. Hello, uh, Mike from the future buttoning in here. I realized that I didn't actually rate the figure, which is what I wanted to do with these videos. Uh, we're gonna start off strong with a four cauldrons out of five. So here he is, uh, the first Dumbledore. As I mentioned earlier, this was the second ever Harry Potter Funko Pop figure I got. Um, I got Harry first, and then I got this Dumbledore. So I've had him for about six years now, which is a bit mad. But anyway, let's have a look a bit closer. So as you can see, the box is a slight improvement on Bellatrix uh, in that it's in one piece, at least. Um, it's still a bit battered, but as I say, I have had this one for a good few years now. So all things considered, it's not looking too bad. Uh, we're going to game out and have a closer look. Also, notice how many times I go, uh, in the video. I always go, so, um, let's have a um, closer um, look at um, the um, figure. As I said, I'm not used to doing this. I'm new to this. Okay, so, there he is out of the box in his plastic coating. Unlike Bellatrix, he doesn't need the, um, the stand. I said, um, again. Unlike Bellatrix, he doesn't need the foot stand because he's got quite a thick body um, and his head is better proportioned to his body so he won't fall over and there he is outside the box rather controversially i will say now i prefer this design of dumbledore to the new dumbledore which is based off the michael gambon interpretation um this dumbledore seems more like magical to me with his red robes and his star hat and things like that i really love the detailing on this figure so you've got his gold half moon spectacles of course uh, the paint is sort of chipping away a bit on this side, uh, but that's just due to use. Really detailed beard, you can see each individual strand of hair, which I really like. As I say, I like his starry hat. I'm going to move down to the robes now. Um, all the detail is fantastic. So he's got like little moons and stars and things like that on his robes, just to add to that magic vibe going on. And he's holding his hands like that in the usual calm manner. Very much unlike this scene. There is Dumbledore 1. Really do like this figure. Another very detailed one and another strong start. So I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with another four wands this time. Four wands out of five. This now brings us on to our third figure, which is Draco Malfoy. Now, I couldn't get hold of the original Draco Malfoy figure, so I had to get the one with like the spider on his face, Mad Eye Moody Spider. There are still original Draco Malfoys available online to buy, but they're really expensive. And I found this one for quite cheap, so gonna have a look at this one today but let's have a look a bit closer so compared to some of the other figures i've really not had this one for that long only a few months so the box is in pretty good condition um as you can see here there are a few little rips and tears on the corners and um, that's just from me not storing it right but yeah no it's in a pretty good condition we're gonna open him up now and have a look ah, there we go there is Draco Malfoy. As I say, unfortunately, I could only get hold of this edition with the Mad Eye Moody spider on his face, which is a bit of a shame because it would be nice to just have the original figure without this, but I quite like this one as a special edition. Um, I'll take it out of the box now so you can have a look a bit closer. So, yes, there's the spider close up. I won't lie to you, there have been a couple of times where I've tried to get this off his face, but it is a plastic piece and it's drilled quite far into the face, so if I did take it off, it'd just leave a massive gaping hole which would be pretty traumatic, so I've left it on. But yeah, that's how he looks now. I do always like the detail on the hair with these figures. Um, I think they're really good at doing the hair justice. You can also see he's wearing his Slytherin robes there. He's got the Slytherin crest and the green tie and hood. I also like that they've tried to get the expression in here with his eyebrows uh, and his hands. It's like he's a bit frantic, a bit scared of the thing on his face, which, I mean, obviously you would be. We'll do one more 360 of Draco. There he is. Boom. Yeah, another solid sculpt there. Um, I will rate this one three chocolate frogs out of five. I'm going to give this one three just because of the spider, and it's a shame that it's not a detachable piece. But yeah, three out of five, not bad at all. Just to give you a bit of perspective on how long it takes me to film a video, it's now going dark <laughs> and I started filming this at about 11 in the morning. So yeah, get on with it. Number four now, which is Cedric Diggory. Again, like Draco, I've not had this one for very long, so let's have a closer look. So yeah, Cedric comes in the newer design boxes, which I prefer, to be honest, the white with the, um, 
the daily profit background. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at the box. All in good condition. Starting to feel quite bad for Bellatrix now. Okay, let's have a look inside them. There he is, Cedric Diggory. This is the Yule Ball edition Cedric Diggory, as I'm sure you can already tell with his dress robes. So let's get him out. As I mentioned then with the Draco figure, I do like the detail with the hair every time. Cedric's is specifically very good and very detailed. Quite a cool expression there from Cedric. He's quite a cool character. And a closer look at the dress robes now. He's got a little black bow tie there. He's got a waistcoat and he's got a black overcoat. Again, not much that you can get detail-wise, but they've still managed to get like the um, the buttons in, the tiny buttons on the waistcoat, the little pocket there, things like that. It's just, yeah, I'm really impressed with these so far. He's got his hood there at the back as well. And like the Bellatrix figure with Cedric's shoes, you can see the laces you look very closely and you can also see the um the design for like the front the toe cap bit they're separated so yes good detail all round once again so for Cedric Diggory I am gonna rate him three and a half sorting hats out of five really do like the detailing on his clothes so yeah three and a half moving on to the final figure now which is Lord Voldemort <laughs> I mean, as you can see, it's pretty much pitch black now because I take so long at filming videos. But we are going to make time to review the final figure in this episode of my reviews, which is Lord Voldemort. Now, I'm going to take him over there near the lamp so you can see him in better light with a bit more detail. So, let's get him open and have a look. So, there he's in the box. Um, he's number six, so he's in the old box because he's one of the first figures. Just looking at the condition. This was another early one for me, um, I have had this one for a few years, but this box has managed to survive quite well. Again, it's got a couple of like scuff marks on the corners, but overall in pretty good condition. So we're going to open this up and get him out. Now the first thing I will mention is because he's this sort of white grey paint, like he's in the movies to be fair, does get markings quite easily. So obviously in Potter Pops I bang him around a bit and knock him into all the characters and things. So. That does show up quite easily on this colour, so he's got a few like other paint markings from other characters and things like that. Um, but let's get him out of this. There he is under the lamp there, like he's been interrogated. It wasn't me! <laughs> As I've always said, the hair is really detailed on these figures. Oh! Oh, there's none there because he's a bald egg. <laughs> no, sorry Foldy. But yeah, the head sculpt is, is very good. It's a bit dirty at the back there, but... Really like the um, the slit nostrils and the, the sad, sort of pissed off expression that Voldemort has. His robes are the dark green that they are in the movies. Admittedly, there's not too much detailing on this one because there's not really a lot on his robes. It's just a blank colour, but he's still got the, um, the wear marks on his arms and also his wand. This is another one that has survived my wrath over the years and is still in one piece luckily. I also really like his um, his stance, like his expression on this one. He stood there like, you are you talking to me? <laughs> it's like he's shrugging his shoulders. Um, so yeah, there is the final figure in this review. Let's see, what should we rate him? 12 out of 10! No, Voldy, <laughs> settle down. So I'm going to give Voldemort three lightning bolts out of five. Um, a pretty solid score. Again, he's not as detailed as some of the other figures we've seen today, but he is still a pretty cool figure. Okay, so there's the first five figures reviewed. They will now go over on the completed board so we don't get them again. And in the next episode, I will pick out five more random characters to review. But for now, let's go over to the board. And there's the first five on the completed board. Stay tuned next time where we're going to have another five figures to review. Thank you very much for watching the video guys, if you did enjoy the video remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well. Take care!